One of the most common problems with dysautonomias, especially things like POTS, where people are having trouble up against gravity, is going to be blood flow. The sympathetic nervous system is responsible for constricting and dilating the arteries to shunt blood where it needs to go. And this becomes more difficult when somebody stands up. Now, if they're having trouble when they're standing and they're not maintaining proper blood flow to their brain, they are going to start to get dizzy and lightheaded. That's a type of visual issue. One of the other issues is that dysfunction in the brainstem is very common in dysautonomias because a lot of our primary autonomic centers where a lot of our cranial nerves come out of that have autonomic fibers are in the brainstem. And when we talk about the brainstem, we think about the real estate of that vast and very dense area of our brain. A lot of other vital things live there too, including our eye movement centers. And so it's very common for us to see, and we test this in our office with video oculography or video nystagmography, to look and evaluate a patient's eye movements. And there's all sorts of eye movement abnormalities that we can see in patients with dysautonomia that could also cause visual issues.